Home Remedies presents 12 Clever Uses of Baking Soda in the Garden Make Life Easy Baking soda in the garden is often used in various green cleaning techniques as it helps the plants become less acidic and prevents fungal growth. Baking soda is made of just one ingredient, sodium bicarbonate. That ingredient is a combination of carbon, sodium, hydrogen and oxygen. Now let's check out the baking soda hacks and benefits for the garden. Number 1. To test the soil pH If you don't have a pH testing kit, don't worry. This is simple school chemistry, acid and base reaction. Acidic pH is below 7, alkaline is above 7 and 7 is neutral pH. You can roughly test your garden soil with the help of baking soda and vinegar and know whether your soil is alkaline or acidic. Collect samples of your garden soil in small containers from different areas. Take a half cup of vinegar and a half cup of baking soda. So when you pour the vinegar into one of the soil samples and if the soil begins to bubble, it is alkaline, meaning the pH level is above 7. Now mix half a cup of water in baking soda and mix well. Pour the solution into one of the soil samples. If the soil bubbles, it means the pH level is below 7 and it is acidic soil. Number 2. To make flower blooming. Make these plants a special monthly tonic consisting of 1 tablespoon of baking soda and 2 quarts of water and prepare a spray solution. Mix it well and now spray this on your plants with buds or unopened flowers. They should be brighter and healthier than they would have been otherwise. Number 3. To use as pesticide and fungicide. Let's prepare our most powerful and universal pesticide and fungicide solution to treat almost all types of pests in your garden. All you have to do is mix a tablespoon of neem oil. You can also use olive oil, but neem oil is the best to make a universal pesticide. 2 tablespoons of baking soda and a 10 drops of liquid soap in a gallon of water. You can use dishwashing liquid soap or even hand wash liquid. Put it in a spray container and apply gently to your garden every 3 days. It will definitely keep the bugs away. Number 4. To clean the plants. A simple solution made by mixing half a teaspoonful of baking soda to 1 liter of filtered water can be used as a gentle cleaning solution and sprayed to remove dust and dirt on the leaves. Number 5. To kill cabbage worms. Take baking soda plus any flour like wheat flour in 1 is to 1 ratio and mix it well. Sprinkle this powder on the cabbage or broccoli leaves. The worms munch on this and die within 1 or 2 days. Number 6. To get rid of crabgrass. For an easy way to get rid of them so they won't come back, all you have to do is moisten the problem area and apply a thick amount of baking soda so it turns into a paste. Sweep the paste into any cracks and it should wipe out any weeds. You may have just keep it away from the grass you want. Number 7. To make your compost less smelly. Just sprinkle baking soda on the top of your compost pile to absorb some of the odor and fix the acidity a little and get rid of any foul smell. Number 8. To make the tomatoes sweeter. Tomatoes become sweeter when they grow in a soil that is less acidic, so why not give it a try? All you have to do is sprinkle baking soda lightly onto the soil they are growing in and let it absorb naturally. Number 9. To kill the weeds. Sprinkle baking soda directly on the weeds, especially in cracks. Apply it thickly in a focused manner. It will gradually burn the foliage and weeds should disappear in a few days. Be careful not to sprinkle it on your favorite plants. Number 10. Cleaning your garden stuff. Good news is that you can clean all your garden tools, dirty pots and even garden furniture by preparing a solution of 2 teaspoons of baking soda and 2 teaspoons of liquid soap per liter of water. Number 11. To keep bouquets fresh for a longer time. Just add a pinch of salt and a pinch of baking soda into the vase water. The combination should extend your life at least for a while. Number 12. To clean your hands after gardening. Once again, baking soda can come to the rescue here. All you have to do is wet your hands and get them coated in the baking soda. Use a nail brush for the particularly hard spots and you should be good to go. If you liked the video and found it informative and helpful, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for new videos daily. 
Don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified whenever I publish a new video. Share on your social networks to help others benefit from it too. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.